All right, we're back. Hit us up on the Twitter at the FF Dynasty. And also find us individually at IMC Myers, at Dynasty Big Co, at Jay Wayne's World. Let's keep rolling with these Green Bay Packers. Hit up the wide receivers. Could start with Devontae Adams. Not a lot to say about Devontae Adams. He's awesome. I would like to maybe put him up against some of the other top ranked guys in, in the league. Uh, you know, it's it's we're doing a mock draft right now and he was the second wide receiver off the board. I, I might like to talk about that, but we don't need to get in that now. I think maybe we take that over to Patreon. Sure. Let's uh let's get to some more of the, the, the lesser pieces in this offense, the cheaper pieces. Marte, Marquez Valdez Scantling is really blowing up right now. A bunch of blurbs about how yeah, a lot he's, of blurbs. He's on fire. He's uh he's on fire right now. So what do we want to do? A little buy sell hold? We could do just a buy sell hold on on MVS. I mean, I I think he's getting some heat. He's at one not heat on a bad way, heat in a good way. Um, right. He was at one thirty six on the last run of ADP, and that's surely gonna. That was before all these blurbs. Right. That's that's surely gonna uh, jump up a good bit. In the other way, upwards. Geronimo. Uh, Geronimo's a couple at one thirty. A couple of picks ahead of him, so. That's going to flip flop big time. I think MVS jumps maybe the most of any player of of uh, Dynasty ADP this this coming month. That's a good call for DLF. Um, I could see him jumping an easy 30, 40 spots, right? That seems like a lot, but may- maybe. I mean, with all the hype that he's getting, like couldn't couldn't he jump above Marvin Jones? Yeah. Because Marvin's at a, at old and coming off of a bad yeah, year, nobody get nobody likes Marvin Jones anymore. Right, I'm, right. I'm just collecting shares for third round picks. Sure, killing it. Um, I mean, I don't know. He probably won't. He probably won't jump Hawkinson and Jeffrey and Rashad Penny here. But I could definitely see him jumping up around the Marvin Jones area. Right. That was about as far as I went. I had some MVS or Deshaun Hamilton, Isabella Samuel. I think he's going to jump all those guys. And then Marvin Jones is kind of where I got to, and it was like, would you rather have MVS or Marvin Jones? So what are you guys doing? You buying, you selling, holding on on MVS? Well, I, I don't think you should sell, right? You should hold. Yeah, I mean, you're probably probably not selling. We we did acquire some MVS in a uh, in the Ultimate Dynasty Podcast League. Is that what it's called? The Ultimate Dynasty Podcast. Um, and we actually got him after the draft for like one dollar. Was stunned that he didn't get drafted. Yeah. And so then we grabbed him. Been hanging on to him for a while. So in that case, I guess maybe maybe you could sell, but for the most part, I think you gotta you're holding or buying, right? I mean Yeah, because it's probably only gonna continue to go up the 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 stock. I think if it's too early to sell, I mean the blurbs just started coming out. So then um, it's early enough to buy. I think yeah. there's definitely still a buyer's market, right? I think you can, there's still there's still room for sure to buy. I think um, I'm I, if I'm on and I'm holding, I'm not selling. I could I could purchase still, but I, I I think it's too soon to sell. Unless he's like the kicker in a trade that makes something big happen for you. Sure, and All I right. can see it that see it that part. You know, it's taking two for one kind of thing. Something big. So if he's part of something that really does uh, it changes the outlook of your team completely, then I could say, all right, well I'll give up what MVS could be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think there's, and I think there's, I think you're holding, like you said, there's still a buying opportunity. Like, like you guys said, cause I, he, I don't think he's topped out yet. If, if this continues and he gets some preseason run and a couple of catches from a Rod here or there, does something crazy in there. It's, it's going to explode. Um, is there a certain point where, where you would sell or is this just like a, I'm holding because it's all day long because it's Aaron Rodgers could be Aaron Rodgers. Number two. What well, do you, what do you think about that? When when Rodgers is healthy and, and rolling, he does support plenty of receivers. Um, he's if he you know Rob like Jay Wayne was saying earlier, you know when he's when he's on his MVP course, you know there was a reason why he was the first quarterback taken a couple years a row and a couple years in a row in fantasy football because and he he's throwing forty something touchdowns almost every year, thirty five to forty five touchdowns. That's a lot of fantasy points to guys. And I mean Devontae Adams just crushing the double digits for a couple years in a row now. What four yeah. years in a row? Um, he even, can't. He even can't the bad the Aaron Rodgers isn't bad, right? You know exactly, exactly. So I mean, yeah, that floor I was talking about earlier. The floor, uh, you know, the floor of Lafleur's offense mm. is only so low because you got Aaron Rodgers as long as he's healthy. I don't know how much higher 
his value can continue to go until you see him in pads, you know, because we got a month here before anything happens. You get to training camp. It's a low period right now. Right. We're waiting for camp to start. So you got all these reports coming out. It's been a hot and heavy two weeks for MVS. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know how he's got the spotlight. He's sure. got the spotlight. Um, I don't think too much. I don't think it can get really any better for a couple of weeks. Yeah. As long as he doesn't get any hurt, get hurt as soon as it gets into training camp. I, I mean, it would have to be a complete reversal of those reports to go back down. You know, yeah. I think you're uh, to see a plateau in value before the season starts. Something bad would have to happen. Well, if if let's say he comes in and you hold, and the season starts, and he has a really good first like two three weeks, mm-hmm. and you know he's propelled up into like Randall Cobb and like when Jordy Nelson was crushing and Randall Cobb was doing his thing and was pretty pretty high draft pick. What, would that be a point where you're looking to sell or are you just you obviously if you're not competing sure but like are you hanging on you trying to ride that roller coaster for a while or are you you trying to cash out once once maybe his stock takes that next huge leap i mean and, if we uh, just jumped if we just jumped to the end of september and he's got three games of of really good he, he got three games of what geronimo allison did last year i mean well and, and mvs had a stretch actually i mean mvs had a, had a better stretch than Geronimo he, he went through weeks five through ten he had a significant amount of snaps and a, and a bunch of targets it equaled double digit fantasy points each week Geronimo had a stretch of four games uh with less points uh well prorated per game then MVS got a decent amount of snaps the rest of the way but then he pretty much disappeared yeah he did so yeah. like he had you excited for a second yeah. you know he was making plays multiple levels he showed he could win downfield he was they were sitting on shallow crosses they were giving him screen passes he was lining up all over the place pre-snap so i mean he had you excited and then five straight weeks of double digit fantasy points in an Aaron well, Rodgers offense and you had no Geronimo so he was there was you know they didn't have a ton of options true and he disappeared you were you were getting hyped up and then right. see ya and I don't know, I don't know how to explain or account for that, but he was a rookie, so could have been a wall there. Well, so from well, from, the, the, from two thousand from September uh, eighteen to November eighteen, he went from two hundred and ten to eighty nine. Right. So just so, uh, all it takes is just eyes laid on him and him being in the spotlight, and all of a sudden, boom. There was, I mean, MVS was getting traded for first round draft picks in october last year right right but then that so re- that's when you have to hold till if you're if you have him right now and you want to get rid of him until right. let him get on the field because you know you'll get that first round pick for him when aaron Rodgers is throwing him the ball it happens it happened last year it's fairly bare cupboard for proven outside of Devonte adams in that whole entire offense sure um obviously jimmy graham's there but he's not what he used to be Shanahan um, loves a tight end too <laughs> so i i mean i you've made a good point that mvs came on when geronimo went out so Geronimo, but then he back. also disappeared without Geronimo. But that was okay. So that was the 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 report came out and said Aaron Rodgers stopped throwing him the ball because Aaron Rodgers was changing routes in the huddle. But MVS did what the coach called, and then Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. changed it up. And if M- MVS was still running McCarthy's routes, and Aaron Rodgers said, "I'm not throwing you the ball because right. you want you," I told you to do this, and coach told you to do that. Who are you going to listen to? MVS listened to the coach. Sure. So maybe they're going to come in here and get started. Um, you know, fresh and new. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers has said he's had a great off season, and that was the spurring of this. It wasn't just somebody said, "Hey, MVS created all this separation last year and this and that." That latest Roto World blurb. It was Aaron Rodgers said he looks incredible. You know, mm-hmm. and then you pile on some stuff, some advanced stats from last year and this and that. Hey, what happened? And it's just you know, you got a decent stat where he's got a lot of targets, not a lot of catches. But the catches he did make, he looked pretty decent doing it. Only had he yeah. had seventy something targets, but only forty two charted catchable balls, and he dropped four of them, which isn't the it, best drop rate. But it could, again, it could change really quickly for his uh, plight here of just like, well, he's on the field now, hanging out with Aaron Rodgers, playing a little bit, and he has a couple of good games. Then he co- does a couple of things that Aaron Rodgers doesn't like, and all of a sudden he's like get this guy out of here give me geronimo Mm -hmm. because i know geronimo is going to do what geronimo i've been on this field with geronimo before and we've had success that certainly could even happen in training camp right you know yeah so i mean i don't hate if you want to go fishing for try to get a first round pick for this guy you might not get it i don't think it's too early to ask for but i don't i agree and i think you wait a little bit while wait a little while and then you'll finally probably get that that first 
What would you would you give up a like a twenty twenty second right now to try and get him? I could I could give that up. Yeah, sure. I could I could give that up for a lottery ticket. You think that would get it done? I mean, probably. Like, I mean, not for not the, for us. Like, if somebody offered that us in the UDPL, I'd hang on. But right. Um, so get out of here with that. For the most part, I, I I would send a two over four. I'm like, I don't I don't love the guy. That's my. I'm not right. I'm not super if infatuated not with MBS. I'm not super sold on him. I could be completely wrong. I've been But wrong. the height adjusted speed score I've been though. wrong a lot. Um but I'm I'm just I'm not that invet like he's not somebody that I'm like I, he, got, I gotta go by, but I do I recognize that there's there's a short uh there's a short sale availability, I think, with this guy. And he could could be a really great long term play. That first that you maybe could potentially get for him could not even be worth it. Like Absolutely. it could be, Absolutely. he blows the doors off of he's Jordy Nelson. That's the gamble you take. You know, that's the gamble you take. But I'm 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 not super sold. Um, and as as much as hype as this guy's getting, Kumaro's getting tons of hype, mm-hmm. like tons and tons. It's just a red zone magnet. Him and Aaron Rodgers are on the same page, so lots of hype in there. Geronimo Allison's in the last year of his deal. I was in camp sell Geronimo Allison after he was doing shit with Aaron Rodgers because I don't think he's a great player either. I just think he was doing well with Aaron Rodgers. Right. Um, well, that was following we were in camp by Geronimo Allison right. and all the startups last year. It was sure. like he is too cheap not to have him in the FFPC leagues. We got him in two teams on waivers and uh, just we missed our window. Couldn't and both sell of him before he got hurt. Sell him for enough and then he got hurt and then it was a bummer because mm-hmm. what well, could be so. Um, well, let's. You guys good on MVS here? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's move on to the rest of the offense and and uh, get out of here.